Hello friends, today we will see some advanced level examples on mathematics. In this example, four options are given. Listen carefully, four options are given to you, but there is a question and the question having multiple correct answers. It means maybe one option is correct, maybe two options are correct or maybe all four options are correct. That's why uh, it is a quite uh, challenging work and that's why we will see how to solve this example. The example is if Alf, uh, uh, keep in mind, always read the example carefully. If alpha and beta are roots of quadratic equation x square uh, minus x minus 1 equal to 0 with uh, alpha greater than beta, for all positive integers n define a n like this quotient alpha raised to n minus beta raised to n divided by alpha minus beta and for n greater than or equal to this is true for n greater than or equal to 1. The information of b1 is also given. b1 is already made given to you. It is 1. And bn can be defined as a n minus 1 plus. It is a plus. Plus a n plus 1. For n greater than or equal to 2. Now which of the following options are correct? Now, how to solve this? So, uh, I will try to check first option whether b n is equal to alpha raised to n plus beta raised to n is correct or not. And if it, is, it will be correct, then I can use this value of b n to evaluate option number 3 because in option number 3 b n is involved. So, how to check? b n is equal to alpha raised to n plus beta raised to n is correct or not correct. So, I am putting n equal to 1 because if it is true for all n then it must be true for n equal to 1. So, put n equal to 1 here then it will become alpha plus beta. Then I will put n equal to 2 then it will become alpha square plus beta square and if both the sides will be equal then this will be true for all integer positive integers and then this option will be correct. So, let us uh, start the quadratic equation given to you and its uh, roots are alpha and beta. We know the relation between roots of the quadratic equation and coefficients of uh, quadratic equation. Here are uh, 1 minus 1 minus 1 are the coefficients then we know that the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus times coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square that is why it is 1 and we know that the product of two roots is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square therefore it is become minus 1. Uh, I can use this. Now, in option 1, I am putting n equal to 1, then b1 is equal to alpha plus beta and uh, already we have this value alpha plus beta equal to 1 and uh, b1 equal to 1 is already given the example. Therefore, uh, both are matches and uh, hence it is true for n is equal to 1. Now, I will check for n equal to 2. For n equal to 2, b2 according to option alpha square plus beta square then i am using this identity i will just manipulate this these two terms like this alpha plus beta bracket square uh, minus 2 alpha beta i have the value of alpha plus beta 1 i am putting here and value of alpha beta minus 1 putting here i'll get 3 so this value 3 of b2 is obtained from option option number 1 now, same n equal to 2 I am putting in the example expression of b n. So, let us check. Uh, but by given that b n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1, here putting n equal to 2, I will get uh, here 2 minus 1 
a1 plus a3 okay a1 uh, a1 all a1 means uh, you know what is a1 a1 is already 1 because uh, you know the formula alpha raised to n see this formula alpha raised to n minus beta raised to n upon alpha minus beta when i am putting here n equal to 1 then alpha minus beta alpha minus beta get cancelled and therefore i am getting 1 okay so now uh, a1 is equal to 1 and uh, when i am putting n equal to 3 in a n formula i will write this i have the identity of uh, alpha cube minus beta cube and using that identity i can write uh, alpha minus uh, beta is one of the factor that will cancel out with denominator and remaining uh, factor uh, i have written here where alpha beta is minus 1 so this minus 1 and this one get cancelled i'm getting alpha square plus beta square and already alpha square plus beta square uh, i have calculated that is 3 and therefore according to option and according to formula given in the example when i'm putting n equal to 2 both are matched and hence option number one is uh, right answer and therefore this result bn is equal to alpha s to n plus beta s to n i can use to calculate the or to check the option n3 so now i am checking option number three what is option number three it is uh, infinite summation of bn upon 10 s to n is equal to 8 upon 89 uh, let us check whether both sides are equal or not already we have the value of bn that is alpha raised to n plus beta raised to n i'm putting here dividing by 10 raised to n then separate the terms and separate the summations i'll get this this type of subtraction okay uh, not it is a subtraction because it is a uh, i think uh, what is bn bn is alpha raised to n plus beta raised to n so it is plus it is also plus now uh, multiply numerator and denominator by 10 here also and we will get this here plus is that now let us simplify this uh, denominator multiplication is in the denominator and when you multiply here cross multiply 10 alpha minus alpha beta plus okay plus uh, 10 beta minus alpha beta so here 10 can be taken as a common from these two terms these two terms and you will get uh, this type of expression where alpha plus beta is equal to 1 and alpha beta is minus 1 therefore i'll get uh, 12 in the numerator and in the denominator uh, when you multiply these two brackets then i'll get this type of expression where alpha plus beta is 1 therefore 100 minus 10 is 90 and alpha beta is minus 1 therefore 90 minus 1 is 89 so uh, i have got the answer 12 upon 89 but the given answer is 8 upon 89 and that's why option number 3 is not a correct choice and therefore we reject option number 3 here among the four options option number 3 is wrong now still uh, uh, still we have to check two options option number two and option number four now let us check option number two what is the option number two it is uh, a finite sum up to n terms a1 a2 up to an is equal to a n plus two minus one now how to check it's very simple see observe the uh, pattern in the left hand side uh, the suffix uh, is uh, started with 1 and end at n and the right side is n plus 2 that means uh, here the last suffix is n then it is n plus 2 so i have take i can take only the first term a1 then what will be the right side it is a1 plus 2 that is a3 minus 1 and if both will be equal then it is true uh, and therefore we can select this option as a correct option so check uh, a1 is equal to a3 minus 1 earlier i have explained this now a1 is equal to uh, you know that according to given formula in the example alpha minus beta actually it is alpha raised to n minus beta raised to n but when we put n equal to 1 here 
then it is uh, both factors are same and therefore I'll get a1 is equal to 1 and this is the answer of right hand uh, sorry left hand side I'm considering only one term so it is answer of left hand side and uh, while considering first term now the uh, I'm calculating the right hand side a3 minus 1 so a3 according to formula this one now the factors of a alpha q minus beta q or alpha minus beta that will be cancelled with this denominator and the second factor in the numerator is like this minus 1 uh, then alpha plus beta square this this value we know that it is uh, 3 uh, this is uh, how much alpha square plus beta square uh, plus alpha beta is minus 1 so it will become minus 2 so it is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 so I got the answer of right hand side is 1 and the left hand side is 1 it is matched and therefore we can set that option 2 is also right and so otherwise you can check by taking the two terms a1 plus a2 in the left side and a4 minus 1 in the right side you can calculate this uh, then also you will get the same answer now the last option option number four i have to check the summation of a n is equal to 10 upon 89 a n is already given in the example there is alpha is to n minus beta is to n upon alpha minus beta i'm putting here and uh, this bracket in the denominator of a n is independent of uh, n and therefore we can take outside the summation and uh, the numerator is alpha raised to n minus beta raised to n denominator is common multiplying uh, both the terms i'll get this one and we all know that this is the infinite summation and i'm getting the answer as a finite number that's why i have point out that uh, th th this is uh, having connection with geometric progression and uh, yes it is right when n equal to 1 n equal to 2 then it is uh, a geometric progression with first term alpha upon 10 and with the common ratio alpha upon 10 and when when we we uh, we find out we 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 want to find the infinite sum of geometric uh, progression where ratio is less than 1 then we can use this formula what is that formula that is a first term here in the numerator that is alpha upon 10 divided by 1 minus uh, ratio the ratio is also alpha by 10 multiplying numerator and denominator by 10 i'll get this similarly i'll get this then just uh, have to calculate the bracket so it is uh, denominator is like this and after cross multiplication i'll get this one after that uh, uh you know that this alpha beta alpha beta get cancelled and from these two terms from these two terms uh, this get cancelled and from these two terms you can take 10 as a common and then the factor remaining is alpha minus beta that will cancel out with this and therefore only 10 number is uh, remaining in the numerator 10 and the denominator is a multiplication of these two brackets already we have calculated this this is uh, 100 minus this like this put the value of alpha plus beta and alpha 1 you will get 10 upon 89 the answer given is also 10 upon 89 hence it is a match and therefore among these four uh, options only one option that is option number three uh, was the wrong and the remaining three options are correct i hope you enjoy it